What's up, Outsiders? I'm here at one of my favorite local parks to show you one of my favorite apps that I use to identify plants and animals, Seek by iNaturalist. I'm gonna go through a hike through the park and show you how I use this app to identify various species. I'm Mike, and this is Outside Chronicles. I love everything outside. And if you do too, you're gonna to wanna to click that subscribe button. And if you find value in this video, be sure to click that like button. Seek is an app from an organization called iNaturalist. They also have an app called iNaturalist, and they work together, but they have different purposes. iNaturalist as an organization is a citizen science, crowdsourced organization to identify species throughout the world where people can submit their findings, and it goes into a database. Other people can comment and confirm their findings. It's a great organization and you're really contributing to a lot of great science and a lot of big data information. Seek is their standalone application. It doesn't collect any information and send it to the internet like the iNaturalist app does. It's completely contained within the app. You don't need an internet connection to actually use it. It's very fast. You point the camera at whatever we want to identify. It'll identify it immediately. You can take a picture of it and put it in your observations, but it stays all within the application. You can actually post from Seek to iNaturalist and c contribute to citizen science and their database that way. Or if Seek doesn't actually find something and you want to identify it, you can post it to iNaturalist from the Seek app and then Naturalists throughout the world will try to identify that and comment and confirm what species you are actually looking at. So they're a kind of a brother and sister application, two different purposes. I like Seek because it's just so fast and identifies almost everything. And um, I'm going to show you how I use it. So I'm seeing all of these leafy understory low-lying plants around and I think I know what they are but I'm going to use Seek to actually identify them. So I'm going to launch the Seek app, I'm going to hit the camera button and I'm going to just point it at some of the leaves and you can see it very quickly identified it as a Canada Mayflower. So now I'm going to take a picture of that and I've observed this before but I'm going to say use new photo and then it drops you into a page that has information about the species. You can view the species, gives you some information about the species, the range map of the species, where it is taxonomically, and other iNaturalist observations nearby. And you can actually see other species uh, related to this. So I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to use the new photo. And you can see I can post to iNaturalist. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and it has all the information of where I am, post to iNaturalist. Okay, so now I feel good about posting my observation so the community can use it, and uh, let's go find something else. So right here we have a couple different varieties of fern and we're going to use seek to identify the different types. So again I'm going to hit the camera button and I'm going to point it at this fern and you can see it's a sensitive fern. We'll take a picture of that and we'll use the new photo and we'll also post it to iNaturalist. And then there's this other type of fern right here that we're going to use to also identify. And this one is identified as a New York fern. So let's identify that. I'm gonna use this photo and I'll post to iNaturalist. You don't have to post to an iNaturalist. I'm just doing it because I like to contribute to science. You can keep it private and all within the Seek app. Okay, so let's go find some more species. Maybe we'll do a tree or two next. So just like the understory plants that we identified, we can identify trees just the same. We're going to use the camera feature in Seek, where we're going to take a look at the leaves of this tree, and very quickly it identifies it as an American beech. So 
So seek can identify trees by their leaves. It can also identify them by its pine cones. So I'm gonna point seek at these couple cones here. And when it actually focuses on it, we'll just do one at a time. You can see Eastern white pine. And that's very accurate because there's lots of white pine around here. One of the cool features of Seek is that it keeps track of all of your observations over time. So if you go to the main screen, you hit the menu button, you can see you have achievements, challenges, my observations. So let's click on my observations and you can see all the observations you've made over time and you can click into them and get more information. You can also delete them if you want to. Then you can also look at your achievements. So these are special badges that you earn for identifying certain species or rare species. If I click on this plant, I have a bronze badge because I've observed one plant. It also has uh, challenges that are pretty neat. So if you want to do this with your kids and give them a challenge for the summer, you can say, okay, let's do the uh, wildflower challenge. And it gives you an explanation of what you need to do to complete the challenge. And it's all through and track through the Seek app. Really, really cool, uh, really, really fun to get out and observe different things and learn about our natural areas. And it makes your hiking experience that much more enjoyable. So I came across this mushroom right in the middle of the trail. And I've never actually seen it before, and I'm not really good at identifying mushrooms in the first place. So let's see what Seek can do with this particular mushroom. And you see it's a hemlock varnish shelf. So I'm gonna take the picture of that and I'm gonna save that. And that makes sense, this is a hemlock tree. Um, pretty cool that Seek was able to find it and uh, I've unlocked a new species. So right here is a grove of club moss and also may apples. And just recently I came across a single leaf and I really didn't know what it was. And I posted it to Facebook and other people really didn't confirm what it was. I posted it to iNaturalist and sure enough, several people commented and confirmed that it was just a different form of a may apple leaf. So that's the power of using Seek with iNaturalist and getting the crowdsourcing abilities of all of the naturalists throughout the world to identify your species. So I just came across these two feathers on the trail and I'm gonna see if Seek can actually identify what it is. I'm just gonna use one of these feathers and point it at the feather. So it comes up as a perching bird. There we go, crows, jays, and magpies. My guess was some sort of uh, black crow, uh, but that's really cool that Seek can do that with the feathers. Now, I don't use Seek to identify birds. I use another app called Merlin. It does an amazing job of giving you the birds in your area through a couple of questions that it asks you. It also can do a sound ID, which is really cool and um, you can also identify from a photo. And it has a sister application called eBird. Maybe I'll do a video on those two applications next. So this is pretty cool. I just came across this little pod that looks like this. And it's hollow on the inside. And I know what this is. This is an oak apple wasp gall. But let's see if Seek actually can identify it. And very quickly it does. It's a spongy oak apple wasp gall. I'm gonna take a picture of that and view the species. Very cool. So I don't even need Seek to identify this. This is one of my favorite species. This is called Jack in the Pulpit. But let's just verify that Seek can figure out what it is. Almost immediately, Jack in the Pulpit. 
one of the coolest understory plants that uh, grows around my area. As you can see, Seek is a very powerful app. It identified every species we pointed at today. And in the event it doesn't identify the species, you have that option to post it to iNaturalist and get the power of thousands of scientists and naturalists to look at your picture and identify that species. And who knows, maybe you'll find something that contributes to the stop of an invasive species or some new medicine. Seek can be used as a standalone app. There's all those ways to earn badges and do those challenges. I suggest doing those either with yourself or with your kids. It'll definitely enhance your hiking experience by understanding the natural world a little bit more. And I also suggest signing up for iNaturalist because you can feel good about contributing to the data that the scientists are going to use to protect the environment. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to click that like button. And if you want to see other outdoor adventures, gear reviews, how-tos, subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. I'll see you guys outside.